Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, this is Nuke Fundamentals episode 2 where I'll try to cover a tool name called Fun Score Rig Removal and by using that, I'm trying to remove this car from this video as you can see in front of your screen. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now we're in Nuke 12.1 version, the most latest released version. And guys, end of this video, I have something really cool for announcement. So watch this video completely. Don't go and skip that part. Okay. And so guys, uh, I have to remove this car by using Furnace Core Rig Removal tool. And um, okay, then let's get started. So if you notice, the car is removed completely and its uh, removal process is very easy. It's a very small, sweet tutorial. So first of all, this is my input as you can see. So let's turn this off W. Yes, right now this is input and I am cutted this input from 1 to 120 frames. The reason I'm taking 120 frames, I will tell you after a few times because uh, if I can't show that, I you can't understand that part. Okay, so first of all, we have to rotor this card. Okay, the main thing is we have to rotor this card, not this precise rotor. We have to make a rough rotor around this car with this shadow. No need to rotor only this much area. We have to rotor a bigger part. So let's take a rotor node by pressing O on your keyboard you can take a roto node and as you all know by pressing P you can take a roto paint node so now I'm taking this roto node and connect with this like that and from here you should change it to one so that only one will be visible here like any other properties will not come when you click this one okay now I'm turn off this proxy mode so that right now it will be in, in full res it's 4k plate and guys as I noticed there are so many people who are looking for my footages so for that guys I'm trying to upload my all of my footages from my previous tutorial as well on a specific link where you can find all of tutorials so it will take some time but yes I will definitely upload it very very soon okay so just double click on this node and inside of this you can see this is a roto node user properties now if you notice there's a shadows are visible here a little bit so that we have to take a roto node around like this okay so it should be bigger but not too much bigger press z so it will be smooth now you can adjust your shapes like this so that it will not being used unnecessary part because if you don't know I just want to tell you that Furnace Core Rig Removal tool is very uh, like high graphics tool. It will, it can be crash your system for some time. Okay. Now the basic way to animate this roto node is very simple. I am telling you the frame uh, gap system. So just go to the last frame after doing the first frame. Just go to the last frame and adjust this to the last frame. So this is the most tool important part and just scale it a little bigger because uh, as if you don't know, if you notice this image that uh, the camera is moving a little down so that the car is increasing the shapes so that's why I'm increasing my roto shape as well now first frame and last frame is animated completely now go to the in between frames and you have to adjust it like this so it's very easy no need to do a proper roto just have to be like this so I already done this so I'm taking my previous roto node from here just control C and then control V and then just delete this roto node and just connect with this okay so if you notice I already done this before so let's play it see this is my previous roto node okay and it's already uh, using now if you notice it's sliding but it's not sliding it's actually from cache if you cross this it will automatically update see it's in own space cool so right now I'm doing by using this keyframes now go to the first frame you can use first frame or last frame or in between frames it's not a big deal but I prefer to use last or first frame if your footage is good enough okay and guys make sure the furnace core rig removal tool is only being applied for this amount of small moving objects or characters or something like that. if you have really big motion then it will not being work in fact unnecessary you can make your system more heavier okay so it will only work for this amount of uh, moving footages now what you have to do you have to take our furnace core rig removal tool by pressing tab press F and then underscore and then RIG it will come automatically this rig removal tool fun score okay now click here now you can see when you notice there are two options called rig mask and source right now we don't want this rig mask it will be in more detail so it will not cover in this tutorial but we have to cover the source and the output pipe so now the part is like source the source pipe should connect to this roto node which is kind of a alpha will be calculated by this rig removal tool now please connect this viewer tab 
to this rig removal just press one now when you press one it will take some time because as i told you this rig removal tool is very very heavy now see this is by default version okay now there are a few options there are not specific details options there are a few options like rig region frame searched frame range frames used in range maximum rig movement rig region box and advanced i will come all in details okay one by one now first of all rig region which is this one this is my rig region part so i have to change this rig region from box to source alpha now why i'm changing this to source alpha the reason is as you notice this is my input and this is my uh, roto node and after using by this roto node we are creating an alpha so that's why it's our source and by source it's become our alpha so that's why i'm taking this source alpha node but there are so many other options like source inverted alpha it means only this much area left the other part will be selected by using this tool it will not be covered only this area but when you select the source alpha it will only affect it on that particular masked area there are some more options rig marks luminance where you connect some rig mask by using this node it this option will be worked now i'm for this tutorial i'm changing to this source alpha now when you click the source alpha it will take some time and it will automatically update it like this now this is very heavier so i am doing two most interesting part to make this uh, footage really uh, what you can say really easy to handle which is this one which is called proxy mode so just click this proxy mode so that if you notice the resolution is right now decreased to 2028 from 4k if you turn this off it's like 4k and when you turn this on it will be half of his, this resolution in fact we want to make this more in fact we have to make this uh, resolution more uh, decrease so what you have to do just go to this region option region box it's actually like in our 3d software like region render you just click here now you can see this region box is coming here like this so it means only this much area is right now calculated by this nuke it will not affect it for the other part so it will be very helpful for this tutorial okay right now if you notice the car few areas are right now cleaned up in fact the red part is visible so the red part is our affected areas which is not being cleaned by this removal tool by default now i have to come with other options like frame search the meaning of the frame search is this rig removal tool can search the frames from forward to backward now see it's already selected to forward to backward it means it can be searched forward frames and the backward frames as well to clean this specific frame okay and how it's work it works like this frame range tool now it will only calculate forward four frames and backward four frames so if you increase the frame range value it will be calculated like now see after four frames this car will go to this area right but in right now this area is right now cleaned so what they did they are taking this area source to this and back side suppose around this area source to this and both they will merge and clean this area so this is the basic concept of forward backward and the frame range so i hope you understand this method and right now when you increase the frame range let's see what happened just increase this frame range to let's uh, take around six so if you notice this will be automatically being cleaned okay let's move it a little more now see it's being cleaned so i know i'm taking it to 15 because i already done this before the 15 value will be clean now if you notice that in this frame it's clean it means not that it will clean the entire area let me show you one example let's make it to around 12 so it means 12 uh, no sorry let's make it around let's take 13 and uh, let's see 13 will work no 14 let's take around 14 yes the 14 is good enough now see i'm taking 14 okay and make sure that you have to check the all other frames that it will clean or not so for that i'm going to other frames and when you click to other frames it will take time to buffer and in fact it will start to calculate okay so now if your frame range was around 10 and it will it was cleaned on the your first frame it not mean that it will be clean for your entire frame range yes guys it will not be cleaned on your entire frame in fact if you see that in your first frame it's not cleaned but when you go to this frame you can see this is clean okay so it not mean now see it's loading now see this part is clean so what happened is like the first frame is not cleaned it's not mean the entire part will be clean in fact the first plane will be clean in fact it's not mean that the other frames are also being cleaned so in fact what you have to do you have to do a specific frame range value which can be used for forward and backward frame to be cleaned properly so for my case i am taking from this rig removal tool option which is the 15 okay which i done this before so that's why i'm done this to 15 right now if you notice this is clean okay 
now go to the first frame again for this rig removal one thing i have to mention that if your first frame and the last frame will be proper then no issues will be come most of the times but the issue will be coming then you have to increase the frame value now now the next part the frame used in range now in this area if you notice frame used in range is called half of frames all frames quarter of frames 10 percent of frame and maximum 25 frames so let me tell you in detail all frames means like the footage uh, sorry the rig removal tool will be calculate the all frames for this uh, removing process okay for this backward and for forward process as well but the half of the frames means like first frame they are doing then the next frame they are not calculating then the third frame then the fourth frame not calculating it will be calculate like this the quarter of the frames means it will calculate after four four frames like first frame then after five then fifth number frame they will calculate then uh, for six seven eight nine they will not calculate then the tenth number frame they will calculate this is called the quarter of frame range after that 10 percent of frame range it means like if you have 10 uh, sorry if you have like 100 frames they will calculate the 10 percent frame they will remove and, and the maximum 25 frames is like oh, entire frame range footage they will take around 25 frames it will be calculated by this script so these are the, the options but in my case i'm taking all frames so that it can be calculated the all other frames one one to 120 and it will calculate the entire frame range now the next part is called maximum rig movement now this is actually called like rig means like your camera and camera movement it's called rig movement now how much is your camera is moving in this footage or in your footage it based on this now this number is valuable on your specific on the different different footages but in my case if you decrease this the camera movement will be decreased but in my case the camera is moving very fast and in fact it's actually tracking that car so that's why i'm taking from here like 50 actually i've done this before so that's why I double click on this and let's take around 50. Now I'll tell you why I'm doing this 50 and what's exactly it's used. Now when you go to the last frame, you can see there are a few errors will be coming here. Let me show you just it will take some buffer and then it will come. Now if you notice this area will be seeing like this. Okay. Now let me show you that uh, why I'm taking to 1 to 120 frame range one by one. First of all, if you decrease the maximum rig movement, let's change this region to only this much area so that it will not be calculated the entire part so let's take around like this okay now if you decrease this rig movement to let's take around like three like this so if you notice now see this area is little bit distorted it means the camera movement in that footage is too much but you are taking the maximum move, rig movement is very less so both are not matching together so that's why when you increase this rig movement let's take around 10 this will be fixing one by one okay but you can't make it to higher value so that's why you have different options for this let me show you this now see this is already getting fixed but in my case i'm taking it to 50 because as i already done this before but still after that also you can see there are few more fixes over there to fix this part you have two ways one why i'm taking to 1 to 120 frame range because as you don't know that in our production house we are not doing like complete frame range we are doing like 1 to 20, 1 to 120 frame range is good enough but we are taking our find the output to around like 10 to 110 frame range. it means in previous we are taking like 10 frame in buffer and uh, like after we are taking 10 frame in advanced so that's why when you render we will be cutting out our those 10 10 20 frames and this error will be coming only your first and last frame so it will not be coming on your final output but if you want to take those 20 frames in your footage you have one more option which is called roto paint yes we have to do frame by frame roto paint now press p on your keyboard and then just connect with this and after that you simply have to paint it out now you can do your clone stamp tool but when you use clone stamp tool the footage will be maybe blurred see in fact some more pixel unnecessary will be coming that's why you are not suggesting to clone uh, like clone using in this footage that's why i'm doing here to this smudge tool and simply down this hardness to zero i'm always downing this hardness to zero as well and then just simply smudge these pixels whenever it's actually being visible now i'm smudging these areas like this and after that increase the size a little bit and simply make to blend it in this like road kind of thing okay so this is the basic way to do this and in fact you have to do this to all of your frames like how many frames is visible you have to do this to frame by frame okay so when you completely done this i am not doing in my previous output because i already cut it out to 110 to 10 to 110 frames but for this tutorial i am showing this that this is the way you can fix it this kind of uh, things and after that 
it is completely done okay guys and let's come to our first part now you can see there are a few other options called rig region box which was our this box okay when uh, when it was coming for the first time the rig region box was this one now i'm changing to source alpha that's why this option is not visible here okay now in coming uh the advanced option you can see there are a few options called filtering the filtering means like if your footage is very high detailed then you can do the filter tool high or low or something like that but in my case you can do it low or medium because it can be crash your system after that you have to check out this luminance correct and perspective correct now if your footage is actually moving in perspective you can do this in perspective in my case it will be a little bit tilt in perspective for a few other frames so that's why i'm turning on this perspective and the luminance correction is like automatically if your lighting will be changing for a few other frames it will also be calculated and it will fix automatically so that's why you can by safety purpose you can turn off this luminance correct if the lighting will not being changed it will not being calculated and after that overlap correct overlap means like like overlapping is like layer by layer overlapping so it means like four frames backward four frames forward will be overlapped to each other and overlap correction is one is good enough so let it be like that and the repair fair markers opacity is actually like let me show you which one let's take around this one the frame range now this is our main opacity color if you increase this color it can it will be increased and if you decrease this color it will be decreased okay like this so let's make around by default or like this and then make it like 50 okay so when everything will be done and i think you already understand all other things now the last part is preserve alpha what is preserve alpha if you need your alpha for further uh, pre uh, sorry post production work and if you want to do more other stuffs by using that alpha you can turn on this preserve alpha for preserving those alpha areas but in my case i am not need that okay guys uh, i think you already understand this furnace core rig removal tool this is a very short simple tutorial and i think i can show you the most of the details here and guys if you really love my this video and all other videos then don't forget to subscribe my channel vfx world and now the most important update which i have to tell you that is very soon we will be coming with keen tool face builder geo tracker and face tracker tutorials because right now i have license for that so thank you king tool for providing us that license okay then before leaving this tutorial you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram twitter linkedin all links are in description so just go and follow us over there i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking fix world